giant murder hornets are currently wreaking havoc in North America. But there are many other supersized insects that can kill as well. Here are 15 supersized insects that can kill. Number 15, Vietnamese centipede. Vietnamese centipedes are one of the largest species of centipede, growing to an average length of seven or eight inches, and are found in tropical regions around the Indian Ocean, as well as the Americas. They're aggressive predators and will target any prey they believe they'll be able to overcome, and have a range of tools at their disposal to launch their attacks. They mainly target spiders, scorpions, mice, and small animals, and will begin taking hold with their legs before twisting their head around and biting with their large fangs to inject their fast-acting venom. They'll hold on tight till it takes its course, and once the victim has died, they'll begin to consume it. A single bite from one of these is unlikely to kill a person, but will cause searing pain around the wound. In recent years, though, there have been several deaths of vulnerable individuals that have been directly linked to this species. Number 14. Bag Shelter Caterpillar Bag shelter caterpillars are the larval form of the bag shelter moth, even though they may appear fairly harmless, spending their lives in search of plant material. They can pose severe problems to some people. They only grow to a fraction of an inch long, but while they move through the forest floor, they leave a trail of silk behind them. If another caterpillar comes across one of these trails, it will join it and follow. When they catch up with the one ahead, they'll continue in a head-to-tail procession, which in some cases can involve more than 100 individuals and stretch for several feet. Each caterpillar is covered in bristly hairs that contain venom, and these are released into the air when they feel under threat. And if you're unfortunate enough to breathe these in, they can cause your airway to tighten, which in most cases will lead to a temporary difficulty in breathing. But for people with respiratory conditions such as asthma, it may lead to a complete inability to inhale oxygen, which can soon be fatal. Number 13, Titan Beetle. Titan beetles, which are native to South America, are one of the largest known species of beetle with some specimens having been measured to be almost seven inches long. Their larvae have never been found as they're thought to spend their entire existence hidden within the roots and trunks of trees. And during this time, they gather enough nutrients to support their transformation into the adult beetle and to survive long enough to mate. Titan beetles therefore do not consume any food at all and fly around the jungle looking for a partner. They have short curved mandibles that are used to fight other males as a display for potential mates but these can also be used for self-defense. They are so sharp that they can easily snap a pencil and can cause deep wounds if they bite against flesh. This in itself wouldn't be enough to kill someone. There have been a few documented instances where a wound caused by a titan beetle has become severely infected and the victim died as a result of further complications. Number 12, Giant Amazonian Ant. Most of us think of ants as small insects that gather leaves and food in our backyards, but in the Amazon, things are quite different. Giant Amazonian ants are some of the largest in the world and can grow to be an astonishing 1.6 inches long. Not only do they have sharp pincers that are used to carve manageable amounts of plant material for them to carry, but they also have a potent venom which is used to capture live prey and also in defense. A sting from just one ant can cause extreme pain for up to two days and may result in symptoms such as an inflammation of the lymph nodes, swelling of the extremities, an abnormal heart rate, and the appearance of blood in the feces. If someone receives multiple stings at once, however, they have the ability to trigger anaphylactic shock, which could result in death. Number 11, Tarantula Hawk. There aren't many animals in the world that would willingly attack a spider that's bigger than them, but the Tarantula Hawk is one of them. It's a large species of wasp that can be up to two inches long and have a potent venom in their sting that's able to incapacitate a tarantula. After stinging it between the legs, they drag the paralyzed spider back to a burrow and lay an egg on its abdomen. Once the larva hatches, it burrows into the tarantula and begins to eat around the vital organs to keep it alive for as long as possible, before, after a few weeks, emerging to begin the process all over again. Against humans, the wasps aren't particularly aggressive, but will attack if they feel like they have no choice. The sting is said to be one of the most painful you can experience something that will only last for between five and 10 minutes, but won't pose any dangers beyond that. Those that have allergies to stings though will almost certainly suffer complications. And if they don't seek urgent medical treatment, they could potentially die. Number 10, giant water bug. There are more than 170 known species of giant water bug, which are native to freshwater habitats around the world, where they hunt and devour any small animals they can get a hold of. 
The largest can grow to almost five inches long and have specialized front legs that they can use to grab a hold of prey before inserting their proboscis, injecting their saliva, which liquefies internal organs and then suck out the nutrients. They're also known as toe biters, and this is where they pose a danger to humans. They see our toes as potential prey, so we'll cling on to them and attempt to eat them like they would anything else. And this can be quite painful. And even though it can't kill a person, it can lead to an infection if it happens in dirty water or trigger an allergic response, which if not properly treated, most certainly can lead to death. Number nine, fat-tailed scorpion. The general rule with scorpions is that the smaller they are, the more dangerous their venom will be. But there's one genus, the fat-tailed scorpions, that are frightening both because of their size and their sting. There are 29 known species across Africa and the Middle East, each of which can be identified by their thick armor-plated tails. They grow to around four inches long, and their Latin name, Androctonus, means man-killer. This is because their sting injects a potent venom that contains several powerful neurotoxins, and unusually, they are highly aggressive and won't necessarily back off if they encounter a person. Just one sting can cause extreme pain, necrosis around the site, lethargy, blurry vision, and severe tremors, and can be fatal if not treated soon enough. Luckily, there's an effective anti-venom that can counteract the effects, but despite its wide availability, several people die each year as a result of a sting, with most victims being those who keep the scorpions as pets. Before we move on, be sure to subscribe to Top Fives with notifications on. Number eight, locust. Locusts are a type of grasshopper that are solitary insects and are native to every continent of the world apart from North America and Antarctica. In normal conditions, they eat small amounts of vegetation that's hardly noticeable to farmers. But following periods of drought, they enter a far more disastrous phase. An increase in the production of serotonin in their brains causes them to rapidly breed, and huge swarms begin to move across large areas that can eat every bit of plant matter in sight. At their worst, swarm can contain billions of individuals with more than 200 million per square mile, and this has a catastrophic consequence for any communities that rely on food that they consume. Locust plagues have occurred for as long as records have been kept and have caused countless famines, which have resulted in hundreds of thousands of deaths and mass population migrations throughout history. They are therefore one of the most deadly insects on Earth, even though on an individual level, they're completely harmless. Number seven, African assassin bug. African assassin bugs are a venomous species of insect that's endemic to the African continent. Recognizable for their white spots on their backs, they hunt insects and plants. But instead of chewing their food, they insert their proboscis and inject saliva that liquefies the tissue. So all they need to do is suck it out like a drink through a straw. The bugs are venomous and have a defensive bite that's designed to stun predators for long enough that they can escape. But when this is directed towards humans, it can be a miserable experience. Said to be much more painful than a bee sting, they're also able to spit their venom. If this gets into the eyes, it can cause temporary blindness. As with all fluids like these, there are some people who have particular allergies towards them, and if they get the venom in their bloodstream, it can lead to severe anaphylactic shock, which in a minority of cases has the potential to be fatal. Number six, Galaniper mosquito. Mosquitoes are the most deadly insects in the world, not because of any venom or deadly claws, but because of the viruses they carry that result in millions of deaths each year. Normally, you only know a mosquito is near because of its annoying humming noise, but one of the largest species, the Galanipper mosquito, is a whole different beast to deal with. They're native to North America and can have a wingspan of up to half an inch across. There's no way you'll miss one of these if they're flying around you, and they're usually yellow in color with a black tip on their proboscis. What makes these mosquitoes different to others is that instead of being opportunistic feeders, they're highly aggressive towards anything they come across. The females prefer to feed on large mammals like humans, and will continually try to bite, even if their first attempts are unsuccessful. As with other mosquitoes, they can potentially carry diseases like malaria, dengue fever, and yellow fever, although the prevalence of these illnesses is thankfully rare in the U.S., where they are most commonly found. Number five, the Megachili Pluto. Around the world, there are more than 16,000 known species of bee, ranging in various shapes and sizes, some of which work together in colonies and others which live solitary lives. The biggest of them all, however, is the Megachili Pluto, a species that can only be found in Indonesia. It's also known as Wallace's bee, named after the explorer who first discovered them in 1858. Like many other bee species, they're under threat from human activity, 
and it was believed for decades that they were extinct until a live specimen was found in 1981. It would be another 38 years before another was seen in 2019, so the chances of you encountering one of these giant insects is fortunately extremely rare. Their bodies can grow up to one and a half inches long, with a wingspan of around two and a half inches, which, according to the man who first documented one, means they are about the same size as a human thumb. They're mainly black in color with transparent yellow wings, and the females have extremely large jaws that are the equivalent to an eighth of their total body length. The jaws are essential to their life cycle because they enable them to roll up balls of resin that are used in the construction of their communal nests. They only build inside the nests of termites, which provides an extra level of defense against predators and may account for why they're so rarely seen by locals. As with all bees, they have a large stinger which they'll only use if they feel under threat and injects a dose of venom into their target. No one has ever been known to be stung by one, so it's, not, so it's not clear quite how painful it is, but we do know that the venom is similar to the type seen in other bees, so it would trigger an allergic reaction in people who are vulnerable. Number 4. Devil's Coach Horse Beetle Devil's Coach Horse Beetles can be found in the damp regions of meadows and woodlands across Europe and Africa, where they usually hide beneath logs and stones during the day before emerging at night to hunt worms, spiders, and moths. Growing to an average length of around one and a half inches, they're one of the largest beetles in many areas where they live, but they have a unique behavior that has developed to make them appear even bigger in the face of a threat. They do have wings, but instead of flying away from danger, they raise their abdomens and open their jaws in a threat stance that's similar to that of a scorpion. At first, they emit a liquid with a noxious odor, and this usually manages to discourage predators from getting any closer. But if this fails, they have a strong pincer-like jaw that they can use to bite. They don't have a sting, but the bite is so painful they don't need one, and if you're unlucky enough to fall victim to it, you'll be feeling sore for days. They have long been associated with the devil, at least since the Middle Ages, and according to folklore, ate at the core of Eve's apple, so if you kill one, you're said to be forgiven for seven sins. In the past, they were also regarded as being deadly because in times of much poorer hygiene than we have today, a bite could introduce bacteria that would lead to the development of an untreatable illness. Number 3. Brazilian Wandering Spider While not technically an insect, no list of dangerous creepy crawlies would be complete without the mention of at least one spider. It just so happens that one of the largest species in the world is also one of the most deadly, so if you're ever in the Amazon rainforest, you should pay special attention to watch out for these notorious Brazilian wandering spiders. With a body of up to 2 inches long, but a leg span of up to 6 inches across, it's said that at night, you can hear these animals walking across the jungle floor in search of a meal. They are active nocturnal hunters, so don't rely on a web or a burrow. It will simply hide under rocks or logs during the day until it's time to go out again. They're one of the only species of spider known to pose a serious threat to humans for several reasons. The first is that they have extremely potent venom. The second is their ability to deliver large doses of the substance in just one bite. And the third is the way that they search for places to hide during the day, which can often be in the dark corners within people's homes. It's not known how many people die as a result of a bite each year, but it's not likely to be too high a figure, mainly because there's now an effective anti-venom and, of course, that people know to leave them well alone if they ever see one. Number 2. Bullet Ant Bullet ants are a species that are native to the jungle regions of South America and are known for having one of the most painful stings in the animal kingdom. It's said to feel like being shot. These inch-long insects are predatory and become highly aggressive if they think their nest is under threat. One sting will certainly lead to a very unpleasant 24 hours, but won't cause any problems beyond that. Local tribes even use them for initiation rituals where boys wear gloves with the ants woven into them and endure a large number of stings to prove that they're ready to enter adulthood. There are instances, though, when these ants have been known to kill. This usually happens when vulnerable people are subjected to multiple stings and suffer from shock because of the pain, or who are allergic to the neurotoxins that are injected. Number 1. Murder Hornet Asian giant hornets, which are also often called murder hornets, are the largest species of wasp in the world. Native to Asia and parts of Russia, their bodies grow to be up to 1.8 inches long, with a wingspan of up to 3 inches, and they have a vicious 3 quarters of an inch long stinger. This is what they use to inject their venom, which contains a cytolytic peptide, called mastoparan, that simulates processes within tissue and can cause serious damage. 
It also contains a neurotoxin which, while not present in high enough quantities in a single individual, can cause serious health complications to those who have an allergy, and to anyone if they're subjected to multiple stings. Recent populations of this species have begun to spread around the world and have taken hold in North America. The best advice is if you see one of these to stay well clear. Even though it's unlikely to kill you, it'll definitely inflict a serious amount of pain if it decides to sting you. Be sure to subscribe to Top 5s with notifications on.